not a lot of movement happening, it's not going to pick it up when you want it to. Hello everybody, Jimmy is Promo here back again with another awesome video and in today's video we will be talking about the Dolby Atmos stereo sound that's on the Samsung Galaxy S9 and the S9 Plus. Now a brief history of how exactly Samsung got the Dolby Atmos which is tuned by AKG for the Samsung Galaxy S9 series is because Samsung acquired and bought out Harman Kardon Industries in the early part of 2017. That is why when you first saw the Galaxy S8, S8 Plus, as well as the Galaxy Note 8, there was the AKG headsets that was inside of the box. Now, the reason why AKG is a part of this device is because AKG, Harman Kardon, and JBL, along with many other companies, is underneath the umbrella of Harman Kardon Industries. But really, Samsung bought out Harman Kardon Industries for the auto industry, which accounts for two thirds of their profits. So now that we've talked a little bit about the brief history, let me kind of show you a little bit of what the Dolby Atmos stereo sound is able to do. Now, when you go inside and you click on that little icon, that is just toggling this thing on and off. So you do want to make sure that you turn this thing on because even though the stereo sound is playing, automatically, it is just not tuned by AKG. Now, if you press and hold on the icon, you can go into the full options right here where you can read exactly what does movie mode do, music, as well as voice. But the other way that you'd be able to do that is let's say that you are watching YouTube, and this is the main part of the reason why I wanted to cover this is because not only is it just fantastic to know if you're watching a movie or listening to music, but if you're watching a YouTuber like myself who places background music in the back of a video to kind of make it flow just a little bit quicker, this is where you'd want to change how you are set up with your Dolby sound. Now, for example, here in a second, I will play this video and I'm going to not speak, but I'm going to play all three of these, but I'm going to let you know right now exactly what is happening. If you place it on auto, it's going to optimize for the best sound of what's going on. For the movie, it's going to have a really just well-balanced audio, which means that let's say that you're watching a movie and there's background steps, maybe somebody's yelling in the background, there's shots being fired, something very important is happening, but you don't want to miss it, then it's going to definitely amp up that background sound along with what whatever's in the foreground, the music is just going to amp up and make it more rich, well-balanced for your audio, make it just a little bit more fuller. And then also mostly for voice, it just makes the voices just be a little bit more loud and clear. So if you are watching YouTube and you really care about just the voice, you might as well do the voice, but you're going to see a huge difference. So within this video that I'm about to play here in just one second, right now with this setting, you're going to hear a lot of background music. Then what I'll do is I'm gonna switch it right over into music and you're gonna notice that all that background music is kind of tuned out and that is actually how I watch YouTube is with the music setting. But now if I am watching something like Ear Biscuits or if I'm watching Rhett and Link, then I'm gonna switch it right over into voice to make it much louder. So here is the differences. There's not a lot of movement happening. It's not going to pick it up when you want it to. And you're not able to really choose, hey, record this right now. But if you have it on manual, you're able to tap the record button at any given point in time. Now, here's the other important thing. If you hit on that settings icon, this is where you have the option right here for super slow-mo. Now, do you want it to do a multi-take or single take? Multi-take is where you want it to be. Um, originally, I believe it started as single take. Now also what you might have noticed is that I wanted to go inside of here and I wanted to click on the word. And the reason why is because if you're watching YouTube or listening to music or whatever the case, if you were to click on the little icon and press and hold, then you get out of that application. So now you're not listening to your video or whatever the case might be happening. So just a little tip and trick here is if you tap on the word instead of press and hold, it's a way that you'd be able to go into this little quick setting, a little pop up right here to change it between which audio you would like to listen to. This way you're doing this thing fully uninterrupted. And one thing that I almost forgot to throw in there is that when you do have the different changes and different options of the Dolby Atmos, I have noticed that if you listen to Bluetooth headsets or even wired headsets, it makes a big difference because it is dealing with your equalizer of what you're listening to. And also it definitely improves the sound. And I love that with the Gear Icon X 2018. So make sure you guys share this video with your friends and family and social media sites if you have not already. And make sure you please hit on that subscribe if this thing has helped you guys out. So you can see more videos like this. You can also do that right over here by hitting on this little red circle or you can do it below the video inside the description.